Hello Aquarius. Well, welcome to your horoscope. So what can I tell you this week? Well, Gemini is a wonderful time for you because it rules your fifth house of creative expression, heart stuff, you know. It's all about the love, really. So think about that. Think about what love means to you and how you manifest it. If you have sons with Mars transiting your fifth house, I'd pay attention to the boys, you know, son there too. I'd even pay attention to your father and what's going on in his life, you know, if, if you still have one around, I can help you. Um, but with Mercury passing through your fifth, you got some creative things to say. It also makes for good poetry, songwriting, playwright, stories, um, even help you at work, even though Mercury's retrograde. I mean, good things are happening. Mercury's at least in a sign that's got a face, Gemini, so that helps. And um, Jupiter is in the seventh house, so relationships have a richness. Um, when the full moon hits, it's going to be in your 11th house socializing. You're going to love it. You're going to go out and have fun with your people because that's what you like to do. And, um, you know, I think a good talisman, you know, just like I, like I said last week, a right, even a right kind of crystal or things that remind you of godly, loving, good things, higher vibes, that's what you need around your life right now. And, and you're more generous than usual, and that's helpful. And, I mean, your love life's going to even get better next week because Venus is going to move into your seventh house. And so, you know, you're killing it out there. You know, you're killing it, Aquarius. And um, so just stay in your heart and keep on loving. 